Each meeting room has a dedicated spider phone and code sheet. If you cannot see the code sheet, contact IT or reception who will supply you with the numbers. The sheet contains two numbers, one for internal and one for external communication. For any internal or PCS phones, dial the internal number. To make a call, press the dial button, followed by the internal number. When you hear the repeated dial tone, press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You have now joined the teleconference. If you're the only person on the line, the spider phone will double beep until someone else joins. To end the call, simply press the dial button again. You can easily connect HDMI or wireless equipment such as a phone, tablet or laptop to the Pano device. First, select the Pano device using the source button on the remote control. Android and iOS devices already have built-in mirroring functions such as AirPlay or Miracast. If you are connecting using Windows 7, you will need to download the Polycon app. Here's how to connect via Windows 10. Go to your control panel and then click on Display. Scroll down until you see multiple displays. Below it, click Connect to a wireless display. When you see the list of devices, select the Pano device and connect using the room name and security number displayed on the Pano screen. You are now connected. When you've finished your session, simply click disconnect at the top of the screen. You can set up a Skype meeting via your email application ready for others to simply join. To begin, open your Outlook email application. Navigate to the top left of the screen and click New Items – Skype Meeting. A Skype dialog box will open. In the To field, select the rooms that will be taking part in the meeting. Click the Rooms button and select the required meeting rooms. Hold down Control to select more than one room. Click Rooms to add them, then press OK to confirm. Click Yes to update the locations. The rooms are now added. If required, you can now either add more rooms or individuals to the field via their email addresses. Next. Fill in the subject and location fields accordingly and set the time and date of your meeting. Bear in mind, it is worth setting the end time of the meeting an hour or so later than it is scheduled to finish. For example, if your meeting is due to end at 3pm, set the end time field to 4pm. This is so the call is not cut off if the meeting overruns. If required, you can also add a message to the email this will be sent to all participants. Hit send and your meeting has been scheduled. One last thing, before any of this, please make sure you have booked the room already via the Condeco room booking system. Thank you. If your scheduled meeting includes a CX7000 device, which are the devices found in the trolleys in Clapham and most of the regional offices, it is easy to join. First, turn on the CX7000 device. You will see a window containing a large yellow block of colour in the middle of the screen. This is the previously set up invitation. All you need to do is roll over the yellow section and click to join. You will now be in the meeting that has previously been scheduled. You can easily schedule a new call or meeting from the CX7000 device. These are found on the trolleys in Clapham and most of the regional offices. To start, simply click Find a contact at the bottom of the screen to open a dialog box. At the top of the dialog box, click the search box and using the wireless keyboard, start typing the name or device you are looking for. For example, 
If you are searching for the Leeds CX device, start typing Leeds and select the device when you see it appear. You can only connect to devices shown as green and online. Select your device by clicking on it once, then double-click video call at the bottom of the screen. This initiates the call. After a short while, you will be connected to the call. Either party can end the call. Once you've joined a meeting using the CX7000 device, you can manually add extra participants who were not included in the original invitation. Simply roll the mouse over the double person icon found at the top of the screen on the CX7000 device. Click on this icon and then select Invite by name or phone number to reveal a dialog box on the left containing a contacts list. In the Find a contact box, Start typing the name of the person you want to invite to the call on the wireless keyboard. When you see their name appear, double-click to add them to the call. The process can be repeated to add more people to the call. You can connect into a Skype meeting from the group series video system that has already been scheduled via email. When you turn the group series on, you may see the pano screen rather than the group series as the screen support both systems. If you are on the wrong screen, simply press the source button on the remote and select HDMI 1 for the group series video, then press enter. You will now see the group series screen. In the bottom right of the screen, you should see your camera already working. And in the top left, you will see the video session that has previously been booked on the email system. To join the meeting, simply go to the room tablet of the group series system. If the screen is black, liven the tablet by tapping anywhere on the screen. As the meeting has already been scheduled, there will be a green button visible labelled Join. Press this button to join the meeting. Everyone else scheduled to join the meeting should now be present. You can connect create a group video call that has not already been scheduled in email using the group series device. Firstly, turn on the television and select the group series using the source button and then selecting HDMI 1. Next, liven the room tablet by tapping the screen once. Press place a call, which is the green button followed by the contact button. Start typing the name of the person you want to contact. For this example, we will use the Leeds CX device. You will see a list of devices. Navigate until you see the device you wish to contact. Click on it once to add it. Then press the green call button. The call will then be initiated and established. To end the call, simply press the red icon. If a meeting is already running for those who have been previously invited via the email system, you can manually add other participants. Simply click More in the bottom right-hand corner of the Room tablet, followed by the Add button. This will bring up a contact screen. Click on Contacts and then start to type the name of the participant you wish to add. The system will find the contact names containing these letters. Once the list appears, click Done. Select the participant you wish to add and then the green join button. The contact will then be added to the meeting manually. 